You wouldn't be wrong in thinking that this river flowing behind me is fed by the mountains. What is a little bit more interesting is that it certainly is fed by the mountains, but in a very different way. If you look just over there, you'll see it's quite bubbly. And that is because there is a huge siphon. So what, what actually happens is rain and ice melt percolate through the limestone of the mountains in the surrounding area and go deep underground into reservoirs. And then under immense pressure, they are pushed out through this siphon. So this is the blue eye here in Albania. That's about 18,400 liters per second being pushed out from there. Now divers have gone down to as far as 50 meters, but due to the immense pressure, they couldn't go any further. So to this day, nobody actually knows how deep the cavernous aquifer is underneath that's feeding this. This water is incredibly filtered naturally through all the rock, and through all of that, you see this deep, redolent blue and clarity. <clears throat> Interestingly enough, this spot couldn't be seen for 50 years under the communist system by the public. Uh, this was reserved for Enver Hoxha and his family and the close inner sanctum members alone. And since communism collapsed in 1991, it's been open to the public. So more than just a beautiful natural symbol, it's also something that reflects the release of repression over so many years. And so it has deep, deep uh, meaning and, and relevance for all of us. And I think there's also something to be said for knowledge as well. Sometimes we think that the outpourings, the flow, the influence of knowledge comes strictly from very standard sources up high. But sometimes, as we see here with this kind of structure, it might come from deep, deep depths, far below the surface and unbeknownst to many. So never take anything for granted. Enjoy the view.